Welcome back to Skyway, TJ guys, and another episode of Today I Watch. This is my series in 2021, where I watch a movie every single weekday. Hop on here right afterwards, give you guys my first thoughts, impressions, and a little bit of a review of said movie. If you like what you're about to see, guys, please drop the like, subscribe for more. I make videos every single week. And without further ado, let's roll that intro. Oh, So today I watched Playing With Fire. This is a movie that came out in 2019. It's about a group of smoke jumpers who find three kids and change their lives forever. It has a pretty good cast in it. And my general thoughts on it are that I was shocked. I mean, it's not the greatest movie I've ever seen, but I like these like family dynamic movies where like there's a happy ending. And this movie delivered, and I like that. It reminds me of uh, Instant Family, which is another movie that came out in 20. 19 2018 i think i really like that one too so like maybe i'm a sucker for these kind of movies in terms of acting you got john cena he plays the main dude in the story who's kind of like an uptight uh smoke jumper guy who doesn't like to have any distractions and he you know starts to show a softer side with these kids you got keegan michael key he plays like john cena's like right hand man you got uh john Luguizamo. He plays kind of a doofus in the smoke jumper place. Uh, Brianna Hildebrand, who played uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead in Deadpool. She's in here as one of the kids. Bryn. It's a fun story. Everyone does a very good job in the role. And I wasn't pissed off by any of it. So good job playing with fire. I forgot to mention Judy Greer's in there too. And she's important. I love her in all that she does. So yeah, Judy Greer, she plays the love interest of John Cena, who... At first, is put off by his, like, super uptight demeanor, but as he starts to show a so softer side, she starts to come around, and then they get together in the end, so... Yay. So, the plot of the movie is pretty simple. Uh, John Cena and his buddies are working in a smoke jumper facility. Those are pretty much firefighters, but instead of, like, driving trucks and everything, they jump in from helicopters to airlift people out. Uh... Most of his squad quits, except for Keegan Michael Key, John Guzamo, and this guy named Axe. Basically, one day they're responding to a cabin fire. They go there and they rescue three kids. The kids tell them that their parents are just uh, out of town and they left them there. But as the movie goes on, we get to reveal that they're actually orphans and they're running from the law because the foster care system said they were going to be splitting them up and they didn't want that to happen. So eventually there's a lot of bonding John Cena starts to show his softer side and then after he saves them from a perilous situation he realizes how much he cares about the kids and then he adopts them he gets with Judy Greer they get married and then they're all family and it's very sweet and touching and I like that my final feedback on this movie is that I wasn't expecting to like this because like when I see that John Cena is the leading man in anything I get worried because I'm my brain remembers that he was like in those Fred movies a while ago and we all know how bad the Fred movies were. So I was worried, but I was honestly surprised how much this movie had heart and in a humor where it is, like it's not the funniest thing. The humor is definitely aimed towards like younger audiences, but it does its job. It's a fun family time. And if you like movies where there's like a happy ending with family and everything, you'll probably enjoy this movie. If you like John Cena, you'll really like this movie. And yeah, I'd give it a two and a half, three out of five. Pretty fun time. I'd watch it again if it was on TV. Good job. Proud of you, movie industry. Well, guys, that was my review on Playing With Fire. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. I make videos every single week. Stay safe out there during Corona Madness. Uh, subscribe to my new channel. Uh, it's called Skylectables. I'll put a picture here. It's my card opening channel where I'm going to be opening Pokemon cards, showing off my collections, unboxings, all that fun stuff. I'd love your support over there if you want to come over uh yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow and yeah take care of it bye